it's time to take flight. Hey, Romello Thomas, what's going on, man? What's going on, brother? So this right here is going to be like a combination live stream, man, um, and tutorial to hopefully help people out. So it's always good to see you show up, man. Um, I just want to get everything situated first before we begin. But as you can see, I finally got into the beautiful Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. All right. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am because I got help from a good friend, right? And that good friend that I'm talking about is none other than Mar Chief from Cloud Gaming Extreme. You know, if you don't know about uh, Cloud Gaming Extreme, they are a, a great YouTube uh, channel that, uh, hold on, because my lawnmower in the middle of my stream, <laughs> there's a lawnmower outside, the neighbor's mowing his grass, so I had to shut the windows. Hold on one second. Be right back. But this is going to be very exciting, people, so don't go anywhere. Just, sorry about that we're gonna jump right in hey everybody that does streaming you know that at any given time crazy things can happen all right so let me make sure that everything's working looks as if it's frozen all right can you hear me hey let me know if you can hear me real quick uh, Romello because I'm having some weird stuff going on. Now this game I'm hearing is very taxing, but um, I do want to get right back to what I was saying because I, I wanted to shout out Mar Chief over at Cloud Gaming Extreme again. Um, him and Ace over there, they make great content surrounding like that that involves cloud gaming as a whole. So they're gonna break down things on GeForce Now, on Shadow, I mean, they, they even use like Razer Kishi and, and so many other products to just give you all the very best and most thorough breakdowns that you can find out here on YouTube. I love those guys. They're cool. They're awesome. They're always informative. So I do want to let you all know that I have included a link in the description so that you can go directly to Mark Chief's video that he did. Yo. I'm so happy because this is the only, the only tutorial that helped me. And I've, I've even gone over to um, Microsoft's own support and couldn't find the solutions that I needed. It, it, it's crazy, you guys. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so enthused because I, I dropped one video myself um, and it's over on my channel. And, you know, I try my very best to kind of like get people started to get them past the blue um, loading screen or whatever and I'm not gonna talk too long guys I'm gonna try to jump into this game this the stream may crash I don't know this this game is so dope it's so demanding um, I, I'm super excited so we're gonna jump into it I see that project kill Christopher Torres has joined thank you guys for showing up so we're gonna go ahead and try to get started right now um, I'm running this game in window mode Hey, if the stream crashes, so be it. I'm just trying to bring you all a, uh, a stream that I think can help you all like it did me. Now, the first thing I would like to do is, let's try to minimize this. So what I did was, um, of uh, uh, again, I'm going to send you all over to Marchi for the thorough breakdown because I don't want to get anything wrong. Like, this guy's a genius. He knows his stuff. You know what I mean? Nothing's perfect. You know, but he can't, hey, go to the comment section of, of the video, drop him a question or a comment. Um, I see a lot of people are praising the fact that he seems to be the only person that got them up and running. So that's why I'm so excited right now. So please forgive my excitement level. I spent hours combing the internet trying to find ways to help you all. So let's jump right into it. 
Now, what I did was I went to, um, after you go to the, I, I used the Game Pass store or the Windows store or whatever to download the game. Um, and I can show you different ways. Let me just do this first. So the first thing you want to do, and this over in my first video, but you want to install the, the Xbox installer, as you see right here. Um, let me just close out of the game right now. I wanted to have it open so that it wouldn't take so long because the loading times could be crazy, but that's to be expected in a game of this size and this magnitude. Um, next, we go hard, just joined in and said last because you can't be Alakazam. Alakazam's always first. Project Kill said, let's go. And it's almost Madden 21 time kill, so I know you're ready, man. All right, Romello said the sound is good. I appreciate that, bro. Now, when that plane takes off, if I can make it in the air, um, the plane is gonna be crazy. So let me make sure, because I'm not seeing that you all are getting uh, game volume right now, but I'll be able to fix that in a second, hopefully. Um, so right now, this is what I'm gonna show you. The installer, okay, I run that as an administrator, just for safety reasons. I run everything as an administrator. And if you didn't know, you can run Streamlabs OBS as an administrator, and it helps you tremendously with your frame rate if you're having frame rate problems when you're streaming. Uh, so there's a little tip that I hope you could use. Now this right here, guys, I skip right past. I, I just minimize this because it just hangs, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like I don't know if this bar is ever supposed to fully load up or whatever, but it doesn't for me, so I minimize it and I get right to it. As you can see right here, the game is installed. Um, and with the help of Marchief's wizardry, uh, what I was able to do was I was able to create a, a partition, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? That allowed me to kind of uh, install the game. I'm just, I told you, I'm not Marchief. I can't do it like him. I can't do it like he, him and Ace. They, they, they are the experts. But it allowed me to create my own partition, which is a, a, a little bit of space that I use to install the game. All right. Now, I had already tried to install the game to my C drive. Couldn't do it. My D drive. Couldn't do it. So with this partition, and I can show you, I think I can show you a little bit, you know, and I don't want it to be too confusing. Again, people, this is why I'm saying go over there. Please visit Mark G's, uh video that I dropped in the description when you get a chance. So um basically long a uh, short story i'm just gonna make it short i created uh, a partition from my own um external hard drive so what i did was i right clicked on the actual hard drive <clears throat> uh, let me see if i can duplicate this i don't know i don't want to mess anything up but but what i did was i made a partition right and i was able to start installing the game on that on that um drive right i gave it a name and everything like as you will see in that video um and then i started installing the game so it got to a point where it asked me to choose um which drive i wanted to install to so i just left it as as it was and started i clicked the update button that you all know you're familiar with i, I clicked the update button it began the update did hang up at about 31.9 percent do not close out of it, people. Do not close out of it at all. Let it sit for hours and days if you need to. Because what I kept doing, my fatal mistake was that I kept on um I kept on closing out of the the the, the app as recommended by even Xbox support themselves. But after I used Mark Chief's tips and tutorials, it took me directly through to the end after about maybe I have like a gigabit speed uh, for downloads, so it, it wasn't too long, but it, it took me all the way through. It did hang up at about 98, uh, or not 98, 88 gigs, but it finally pushed all the way through. And I was so surprised to see that it actually like completely installed the game. So as you can see right now, I do have the files in this official folder. That's where all of your files are going to be. So I named this folder right here, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. I can't talk because I'm so excited, y'all. So if I, stutter, if I stutter or fumble, that's why. I mean, you all have no idea. <laughs>
oh man it feels so good to be able to just jump on and play uh so all these are my files right here as you can see this is a huge game people huge hope you all can see that but look all my files are right there so just to let you know that's what i did i used my e drive which is uh that's my two terabyte external okay now we're gonna try to launch back into the game and hope everything works in fact i'm confident that it will work because martif is the best now i might say that like 30 times but martif is the best so if you happen to um, boot the game from your desktop, like I, first of all, I saved it to my desktop from here. Let me go back to uh, right here. If you right click right here, if you install this in the Xbox Game Pass um, using that app, then you can see right here that you could just right click it and create a desktop shortcut. So that's how I was able to get it on my desktop. All right, so in a minute, okay, here it is, it's already open. Now this might take a few minutes or whatever to to open up for some people don't let that discourage you don't close out of anything don't panic it takes a little while for the game to open up okay now if everything goes smoothly you're gonna see this screen more times than not and this is always a good sign if you can make it here you know you you've done something good okay all right so we're going to give it a few moments to load up. Look, I jumped into the game, y'all. And right now, I can tell you that I'm using an, an i5-9400F processor with a GTX 1660. All right, 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM clocked at 2,660 hertz, um, 66 megahertz. So as you can see, that's kind of like a budget PC. You know what I'm saying? It's not high end at all. But I was able to jump in and play the training mission last night. And that's what I'm going to try to do for you all again today. And there was not a hitch. There was no problems. I was able to complete the training mission. I can't believe how well it works, given my hardware. All right. So right here, I can press any key. So what a lot of people, what you're going to see if you make it to that press any key screen is a blue loading bar down here. Well, first it's going to check for updates, of course. And you're going to see this when you first install the game. So when you choose your folder, make sure you choose a file that has enough space for this game. And that's going to be a about 160 gigs, according to what Marchief said. And I, that's what I was able to create. It's, it's so cool. I was able to create that partition and I made it like at 160 gigabytes. And from there, it was like magic, people. It was like magic. So this is the loading bar. It takes a little while for the game to load up, but you can expect that for a game this size. All right. Um, let me make sure this is a good time to make sure all the sound is good and to tweet this out. So bear with me for a minute, people. And this game is so awesome. I told you I run everything as administrator, you know, everything. Let me slide this over to my second display. And just like that, we're ready to rock. Yeah, but I appreciate all the feedback, all the positive feedback, and all the questions and comments I've been getting on my first video that I dropped trying to help you guys out and that's what it's all about for me i don't work for microsoft you know what i mean i don't work for the dev team all i'm trying to do is just help people because i know how it feels to have the headaches and go through the pain and break something and all those things you know i do get it okay let's pull the screen back up see where we are okay so already we're into now this is how you can tell that everything is work if you can see your marketplace you know that the game is fully installed. If you do not see Marketplace highlighted and ready, you might want to go back to the drawing board or you may want to close it out and let that download go through a little bit, a lot longer or whatever the case is. Um, okay, one more second, people. Let's 
screen back up, see where we are. Okay, mute that. I'm gonna share this out. Now I promised people that I was gonna do a live stream, so I didn't forget about you. You know, I like to keep my word, I'm a man of my word. All right, now what I can't promise is how well this game is gonna run while I'm streaming, because I am streaming at 4K resolution so that you can see everything, all the text and everything as well as I can, or close to that. So hopefully everything is gonna hold up. All right, so that's done. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through options first, like I wanna go through the settings. Because I know some of us have not even seen this screen yet. And I was one of those people. I, you know what? Actually, I kept seeing this. I kept seeing the settings uh, screen. What I couldn't do was, once I was in the plane, the game crashed a couple times. And that could be because I wasn't patient enough. And, we, and you all are not being patient enough. Now, some of you, I'm just saying, I don't want to upset anybody. Because I know that people are pissed off that they want to just jump in this game and start flying. So definitely not, um, I'm not throwing any shots at anybody. So we're gonna go full screen, people. All right. Keep changes. All right, we're gonna come back over. So these are my settings right now. 1080p, of course. Um, I think, what did I change? Render scaling, I put render scaling at 70. I might try to bump it up during the stream to see how things go. Um, if everything's running smooth, I turn uh, terrain level of detail all the way up to 200. I may be crazy, but that's just what I did last night and it ran pretty damn well. Uh, the other thing I adjusted was objects level of detail. So I hope this comes out and you all will be able to get a glimpse of what I was seeing and how beautiful this game is. But there are the settings. Let's, ju let's just jump right in. That's what you came to see. All right, we're gonna go back to flight training. I have my Microsoft Xbox One controller plugged up already. I can use that to navigate if I want to, but nothing works like the good old mouse. Okay, we're gonna go back to this. Now the game sound, the planes are, they get pretty loud. Um, so let me know how, how it sounds, you all. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click fly. And we're met again with another loading screen. G Millie, what's going on? G Millie, man, tell me if you, you tell me you've tried the game. Tell me you've tried the game on PC, man. This right here is the most beautiful game out right now. It's not even close. I don't know how we're able to even play the game. They're using all kinds of like satellite data and things like that. I talked to my good friend. Bombay 510, he also did a stream, or he's been doing um, Microsoft Flight Sim streams. And he couldn't believe that he found a college that he went to, you know what I'm saying, over in California. It, it, it's just crazy how much detail they crammed into this thing. Now, I haven't done too much because most of my time has been spent trying to help you all out. So I don't want this stream to be super duper long. That's why I'm just gonna go through the first training phase and then I'll shut it down. But I, I mainly wanted to, again, give praise to the good people at Cloud Gaming Extreme. You all can find them on YouTube. All you need to do is just go down and click that link. That will be the breakdown that you need. Because Now that video is for Shadow PC. I will say this, he, Marchief, made the video using Shadow PC, which is crazy when you think about it. Um, but, it, it but it worked for my native PC. The, the, the tips and tricks work for my native PC as well, and that's why I'm able to be in the game right now. All right, Sedona, Arizona. Let me see if the sounds are good. Hey, let me know if you all can hear game sound or any sound or how the stream is holding up because I can't really tell. Okay, we're gonna click ready to fly. Welcome to flight training. And here we I'm go. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. 
This session, we'll get started with some basic All controls. All right, I got you. Jimmy, Jimmy Lee said, uh, I will if it's on Game Pass. Yes, first it is on Game first. Pass. Let's Go get and uh, try to download that now, but make sure you stop by Marchese, Don't worry. Uh, I've got the stick. Tutorial you get your bearings. Over at Cloud Gaming Extreme. Out Telling you people it's going to save you a lot of you headaches. We have Let me pause this for a minute. Hey, guys, can you hear the audio at all? Uh, let me unmute. Just let me know if you can hear the, the lady talking and everything. Visibility over Sedona today. Okay, let's this check. This is Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, so I don't know if I can turn her up, but we'll, we'll keep her down because the plane can get kind of loud sometimes, so we'll keep this down. And you just have to listen to my my beautiful voice, you know what I'm saying? Now look at the, look at the details now. Again, I have render resolution or whatever turned down to 70, but this is still looking pretty damn good. All right, so let's do what she wants us to do. Gonna look down, look back up. Cockpit looking good. All right. Let's see. Now this game makes me want to go out and get a, an RTX 2080 Ti. I can't. I can't lie. I just can't. Okay. Control Alt One. Control Alt One again. See if you can spot the Sedona Airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Okay. Yeah, the frame rate's not the best, y'all. It's not gonna be like an i9 or i10 900K. But hey, at least I'm able to fly. And this is with the stream being in 4K. So if I stop the stream, I should get better, a little bit better performance. But I, this is doable. There All you right. go. Visual confirmation on the airport. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. Time to fly this bird. Look at the details they packed into this damn Cessna. The first man. control on our training list is the yoke. Okay. I still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is Next like we a go steering hard. wheel. Project, Almost. when do you sure, usually you jump can on turn, PUBG? But you can also pitch. Um, at any given time. Just random times. For starters, it controls the ailerons. Hold on. You know what I'm going to do? Let me go back in options. Now that I'm streaming, I want to go ahead and... uh try to turn that, those details back down that I increased. Let's go down to, let's go to default. All right, this is the settings that the game picked for me. High end, global rendering quality. All right, everything's on high. All right, I will be making a, a, a I hope, I plan to make a stream that shows the different settings from low, to medium to high. And I might even try to blow my stuff up and go to ultra settings. You know what I mean? That's I'm crazy like that. So let's go back in. Okay, apply and save. Okay, and resume. And the ailerons, they allow the plane to roll and bank into yeah, turns. Yeah, so you're definitely not going to get those solid frame rates if you're not using go the ahead and try PCs rolling to the right. if you stream like I am. Nice. Now let's see you level back out. Okay, let's level out then. It's easy enough. Hold on, I'm not straight yet. Come on, yoke. Good. I, okay. Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? This is my first time playing a flight sim game. Pull back on the stick. The plane starts to climb. Give it a shot. Just did it. The most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude. Gene Miller says I have a 2070 Super. But notice, when you're pitching up, yeah, so you your should speed get better is decreasing. You could add more power. For now, Gene Miller, because I'm going to go ahead and get that or 38 Ti when let's it drops. just pitch down. Just okay. like that, your speed's go. picking up again as the nose really pitches good down. Too with the controller, you all. Feels really good. As I mean, you level like, back out, let's talk about another press control. The, stick. the rudders at your feet. And it responds instantly. Rudder pedals control the aircraft's side-to-side -side movement, also known as yaw. On the ground, those pedals are going to steer the plane left or right. Up here, they properly align us during turns. 
Okay. Try him out and watch be... the plane's nose skew to either side. Should be pretty easy. See, I don't like. I like my textures to be increased, man. All right. Let's go. Let's Simple do this right, enough, here. right Cool. Before we go on, let's bring the plane back to straight up flight. Make sure your dashboard is aligned three to four inches. Let's play around with some settings again, you all. All right, we're gonna go medium. We're gonna go terrain level, level to detail. Let's put that about, let's put it all the way up. Let's try that. All right, objects, level of detail. We'll put that about 135. See how it goes. All right, I pressed the button, so let me hit F11. Uh, apply and save. Okay. Slow the horizon for a cruise attitude. Yeah, man. I may have to go down with the stream quality. I don't know, people. All right. Use yoke to straighten air. Okay, oh, the last please. thing we're going to cover now is the throttle. I'm sorry, I get so into the game, y'all. If you have the need for speed, I have then a 1660 stock, Full six gigabytes. The power output of the engine. No overclocking on anything, man. So let's I'm crazy. Let's see what I'm happens when you cut all the power. Okay, let's cut the power by holding the B button. See, you just hold the B button for this. And just like surprise, that, surprise, surprise! Our scary, altitude man. is decreasing. Exactly how it sounds when I'm on a big aircraft this and I'm like, oh, what's left going the training on? Airspace. You need to go back. Oh, let's turn around then. This might be a good time for a piloting PSA. Always keep an eye on your surroundings because nobody likes a low flying duck. All right. All right, let's go ahead and throttle back up. Okay, hold the A button. All right. There you go. Speed is increasing, and Man, as long as we maintain the same attitude, our altitude will keep climbing too. So it runs much better when you're not you're really streaming. Getting the hang of your you know, with the setup that I have, it, I mean, it runs Before a whole long, lot better. You won't even need a co-pilot. I didn't expect it to be like 28 Ti. Until then, and if you want help with the radio status, or checklists or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. Oh yeah, I want you to take over now. You can now. pass me the controls when you're ready to finish your session. Or keep flying. It is a great day after all. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, look around one last time. Let's try to break things. See, I want to blow my CPU, my CPU and GPU up so I can go ahead and get me a whole new rig, a more beastie rig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Ultra? Nah, I'm not going to disrespect like that right now. Uh, let's go. Let me just see how everything looks again with these settings one more time. All right. Uh, let's blow it up. Yeah, man, that's crazy. CPU and GPU are working right now. Hold on. It's not going to get it, people. And this is what Marchief was telling me. I was just talking to him over at Twitter, and he was like, uh, people are struggling with this on the 1080. And I'm like, ah, no, nah, it was good last night. I just turned down the resolution or whatever, and everything was good. And it, and it will be much better, like I said again. It will be much better off, off stream. So don't consider this a failure. I knew it was gonna happen. That's why I said what I said at the beginning of the stream. All right, so we're gonna take it down and we're gonna let her take control and we're gonna get out of here. Okay. 
Yo, but this is so dope, though, just to look down here and see these these buildings, man, this terrain, the mountains, the, the shadows, the clouds, and everything. Let's just give her a control real quick, though. And X. Where's X? All right, I have control. Good job. G. Millie says, just wait for the new cards. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, man. That's what I plan to do. So, hey, look, just like that, you all. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this flight. <laughs> it was kind of bumpy. Uh, there's not much I can do about that right now except put everything on low and go with the flow. But I will be playing a lot of this off stream just to uh, to, to be able to give you all a, a better analysis of, of my experience and everything with the game. But... Hey, I appreciate each and one of every one of you for showing up today and anybody that will watch this in the future, please again, make sure that you go over to Cloud Gaming Extreme's YouTube channel. Just type in Cloud Gaming Extreme or you can go right to the, the link that I dropped in the description and it'll take you to the, the thorough and impressive video that Marchief did. Um, that's gonna get you situated. This right here is just to show you proof that the game did work. I did get it up and running for all those people that stopped by the first video that I dropped. Um, if you like this type of content, you know what I'm saying? If you like the help that I'm trying to provide, just go ahead and uh, consider subscribing. It really won't hurt anything. If if anything, it'll help me out because um, I'm really liking this. I, I really like connecting with people. I like playing these games and I play games across all platforms, including the cloud. So, um, you know, yeah, subscribe, turn notifications on because in the summertime, I don't stick to a schedule. I just go live. So at any given time, I might want to go out and take a flight. It could happen in the next 30, 40 minutes. You never know. So um, I appreciate your time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Leave questions, comments, and concerns in the comment section. And, hey, look, three things I need you all to do. Keep safe, keep it positive, and keep on gaming. Have a good one, y'all. One day I'll be able to give you all a stream that's not as choppy. Not sure about that, Romello. I'm not sure if you can get it on your phone. I don't think, I think your phone might explode, man. Eventually with the cloud though. But thanks again, y'all. Project Storm is out. <laughs>